Hey there, welcome back to another walkthrough. Uh, we have now completed our Word chapters and we are now moving into uh, Microsoft Excel. This week we're going to focus on uh, Excel chapter 4. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and click on our MyLab IT course content. Click on Excel chapter 4. And we are going to work on Excel 4F vehicles. I'm going to click on that. And let's download our materials. And once again, do not download all files. Make sure you download every individual file. There are some differences between the Mac version and the Microsoft Office for Windows version. So make sure that if you have a Mac, follow along with the instructions for the Mac users. If you are a Windows user, you might see this down here where it says uh, this type of file can harm your computer. Go ahead and hit keep. Uh, it is the access database uh, that we'll be using. And go ahead and open up the instructions and your student file. Make sure you hit enable editing. So what we're doing in this assignment is we are going to use external data, data from outside of Excel, import it in and create different pivot tables and pivot charts. So the first thing that we need to do is get that data into our Excel worksheet. To do this, we are going to click on our data tab. And from the data tab, we are going to click on get data. We are going to get data from uh, a database. If you are a Mac user, uh, you will not be getting the uh, information from a database. You'll be using a CSV file. Make sure you look at step number two and it'll walk you through how to accomplish that on a Mac. So for us Windows users, we're going to click on uh, from Microsoft Access Database. And it should be under our downloads. And here it is, the Microsoft Access Database. I'll click on that, the vehicle parts, and hit import. We want to make sure we select both of these tables. So let's put a check mark next to select multiple items and put a check mark next to each one of these. Come down here to where it says load. Let's click on the down arrow next to load and hit load. And what that's going to do is it's going to import the data from the Microsoft Access database and bring it right into here for us to use. Now for step number three, it wants us to insert a pivot table using uh, the data that we just brought in. So to do a pivot table, we are going to have to go to the insert tab here. Under the insert tab, we have our tables and here is our pivot table. We're going to click on pivot table. And it's going to ask us to create this pivot table. First, we need to use the existing worksheet. We also want to use this workbook's data model because that is what we imported in. And go ahead and hit OK. So now we need to build our pivot table. Notice that we have our pivot table fields that popped up over here. We need to expand both the suppliers table and the supply order summary table. Our instructions, we want to take and add the supplier field to the columns area. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click and drag suppliers to our column field. Then it wants us to take the item field and drag it to rows. So we're gonna find the item under supply order summary and drag it to rows. And for the values, we wanna click and drag our quantity field into values. So notice that we dragged all three of these items in their appropriate boxes. Notice how it built the table for us. Now for step number five, it wants us to do a little bit of formatting. So let's highlight B3 all the way down to G12. So highlight B3 down to G12. Once you highlight these cells, we want to come to the home tab under the number group here. Let's click on this little guy right here. This is our numbers dialog box. 
We want to change this to numbers. We want to use a thousand separator and we want zero decimal places and go ahead and hit OK. And notice that it will format uh, a couple of the numbers uh, that are over a thousand. So now that we have our pivot table, I'm going to go ahead and just deselect. I'm just going to click somewhere inside the pivot table to unselect the highlighted rows. Now we want to build a 3D pie pivot chart. Uh, based on the chart and we're going to move it to a new sheet. So make sure you are clicked somewhere in this pivot table. We're going to go to the insert tab. Under the insert tab we're going to find under charts where it says pivot chart. We're going to hit the down arrow and hit pivot chart. It will come up with a uh, insert chart dialog box. We're going to select a pie chart and we want to make sure we select the 3D pie chart and go ahead and hit OK. OK, so now we have our chart in our document. We want to move this to a different page. So make sure it's selected. And we're going to come up here to our pivot chart design tab right here. And we're going to click on move chart. And we are going to move it to a new sheet. So put a dot next to new sheet. And let's go ahead and give it a name of vehicle supplies chart. And make sure the first word, uh, first letter of each word is capitalized and go ahead and hit OK. So now that we have our chart here, we want to make a few modifications. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the only thing we have in our fields here are the suppliers in the axis field or the categories right here. So we're going to take and we're going to drag supplier over to axis. And we are going to hit the down arrow next to item and we're going to hit remove field. So now that you've deleted the item field, the only thing you should have in the access categories is supplier and nothing should be in the legends field. So right now we see all the suppliers and the sum of quantity of what they have in stock. Now we want to edit our chart. We want to get rid of the legend here. So we're going to come up here and click on this plus sign. And we're going to uncheck legend. And we are going to click on data labels here. We're going to hit the arrow next to data labels and we're going to go down to more options. We want to make sure category is checked. We want to uncheck value. We want to check mark percentage and we want to uncheck show leader lines. So the only two things we want check marked are category name and percentages. Notice right now, if we don't click on anything, notice how there is a box around all of the data labels. We want to go ahead and edit those data labels. So let's go ahead and come up to our home tab here. From our home tab, we want to change the font size to 13. I'm going to just go ahead and click on the nine. I'm going to type in one three and hit enter. Notice how it makes it a little bit bigger for us. So once I've changed those, and we have a font size of 13 on our data labels. We want to change the chart title. So I'm going to come up here and click on total. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on it again to make sure my cursor's inside there. I want to go ahead and delete total. And I want to type in vehicle supply purchases. Once I've typed in vehicle supply purchases, V, S, and P are all capitalized. I'm going to click on the outer, one of the dots on the outer border. So it deselects from inside and now the whole thing is selected. And we want to change the font size to 12. So I want to come up here to our home tab. And under our font group, I want to change it to, from 14 to 24. Notice how it makes it a little bit bigger. Now I want to deselect our chart title, so I'm just going to go ahead and click right here somewhere. Once it's de deselected, I want to add a footer. To do that, I'm going to come to our page layout tab. From page layout, I'm going to click on this little guy right here. It's our page setup dialog box button. I'll click on header footer and custom footer. And in the left section here, it wants me to put in the file name, which is this icon right here. Go ahead and hit OK. 
and go ahead and hit OK. So now that we've got our file name on this page, we need to go ahead and go back to our uh, sheet one here. Uh, we were supposed to, uh, earlier on, we were supposed to rename this sheet Vehicle Supplies. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and right click where it says Sheet 1 here and hit Rename. And go ahead and name this Vehicle Supplies. Once you have it typed in, Vehicle Supplies, capital V, capital S, go ahead and hit Enter. And now we're back on this page right here. Notice that our chart did change a little bit because we changed our pivot uh, pivot table or our pivot 3D pie chart. It wants us to click in cell A1 where it says row labels. And up here on this where it says row labels, we want to change this to supplier. Once we've changed it to supplier, hit enter. And right here where it says sum of quantity, we want to go ahead and click on sum of quantity. Let's go ahead and come back up to this bar here and let's change it to total quantity. And hit enter. It also wants to in, it wants us to insert a footer on this page. So I'm going to go back to my page layout tab here, click on my page setup dialog box and click on header footer custom footer and in the left section I want to put in the insert file name box right here and hit OK. It also wants me to center the worksheet horizontally on the page so I'm going to click on the margins tab here and I want to put a check mark next to horizontally on page center on page horizontally and hit OK. And lastly we want to change our file properties. So I'm going to come up here to the file tab. And from the file tab, I'm going to hit the info button here. And I'm going to hit show all properties. And where it says add a tag, I'm going to type in all lowercase vehicle supplies. Under category or I'm sorry, under subject, I'm going to type in CGS. And under author, add an author, I'm going to type in my name. And that's it. We're done with this assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. And I'll hit save for good measure again. I'm going to go ahead and minimize our document. I'm going to come back to our upload area here. I'm going to close out of my downloading starting materials. And I'm going to upload it. It's under downloads. I'm going to find my downloads. And here it is, uh, my Excel student file. Hit open, upload, and submit for grading. And I'm gonna go ahead and close my assignment. So now I wanna see how I did. I'm gonna come back here to my Excel file. I'm gonna click on the three dots and hit view submissions. And it looks like I got a 98%. Pretty happy with that. I'm going to click on my submissions to find out what I did wrong. And scrolling down, it looks like I did something wrong on step number seven. And it says I did not set the style uh, to style three. Uh, feel free, if you'd like to, you can go back and fix that. Uh, or if you're happy with a 98 as I am, uh, I'm just going to let it ride. Uh, once again, this was Chapter 4, uh, Vehicles Walkthrough. I will be working on our second walkthrough this week uh, and should have it up shortly. And like always, have a wonderful day.